Okay, we'll start with an aerial view of the uh, front garden, showing the uh, majestic lawn. And here we are back on the ground level now. Look at this fountain. This is one of my favourite fountains that I've ever made. Bit of a formal garden out the front. We've got to be quick here because it like uses a lot of time to show you around this place. Anyway, we've got one side garden. That's all the food garden in there. A garden shed down the back. Then we go around the other side garden. This one's got when we get there, it's got the sugarcane plantation and uh, it's got a couple of cows for milk, chickens for eggs and feathers that we collect off them and a glass house to grow things. Okay, into the rear I see rear garden. We've got, this is the nice part of it, we'll show you the rest of it later. There's a, I think, what would you call it, a pergola, whatever. Anyway, let's go back around the front now and we'll go inside and give you a bit of a whirlwind tour of this big mansion that I've built. Okay, try and run, 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 come on, quick, quick, quick. Okay. In through the double front doors, red carpet, and the entrance hall, you can see the uh, portraits on the wall of all the family ancestors into the audience hall where we can grant audience. We'll go this way first into the huge extensive library that we've got and um, have a look at the uh, map that we brought from the chateau over here. Go across here, we've got our dining room area this dining room and entertainment area a little stage come raise dance floor so you can dance or performers can perform on there upstairs now the royal bath area which is got that quite brightly lit so that we can get a clear view of all those frolicking cavorting naked wenches that we bathe with um oh did i say that oh <laughs> we can edit that out okay these are just bedrooms for servants and the rest of the royal family on this side and across the balcony we go into the actual royal bedroom here which has got a few things and then we've got oh wait a minute we've got the balcony where you can address all the peasants in the morning I suppose it's a proper name for a sort of indoor view-in balcony but who knows anyway this wings the same as the other side so now we'll go back downstairs and we'll check out we've got the blacksmith area here anvil kiln whatever you call it smith forge that's it forge <laughs> okay kitchen area quick look at that go downstairs now into the cellars a bit of a labyrinth in here quick look through here of course this is the cellar storage area mainly, so we've got rooms full of uh, chests, 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 and more chests. Okay, but there's something else down here. We'll show you what that is around here now. This is the um, all the cells where poor uh, unfortunate people might be incarcerated, and the guard post where they uh, process said unfortunate people, etc. in the guards' quarters. Okay, that's enough of down here. Let's get back up and breathe some fresh air. Okay, now that's pretty well all the inside showing you, which is pretty quick. There is one more thing I want to show you, but it doesn't really look all that effective in daylight, so we're going to have to wait for nightfall. Bring on the night! Okay, here we are, night time. There we go, my stained glass window. Do you recognise what that is? I think that's a pretty cool little job there. I so say it doesn't show up very good during the day. Anyway, now I feel like a bit of dancing now the lights have gone down. I got the moves like Jagger. I got the moves like Jagger. I got the moves like Jagger. Okay, let's get down and dirty on the dance floor. Okay, now he was close. Try to domesticate you, but you're an animal. Baby, it's in your nature. Just let me liberate you. You don't need no papers. That man is not your maker. Okay, sorry about that. I just 
couldn't help myself. Anyway, one more thing to show you while it's night time because this also looks a lot more effective at night and that's the rest of the back garden area. Okay, out the back door. No smart comments about back doors, please. Okay, let's go check out my rear garden. Come on, quick, 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 we've already seen that bit. Walk quicker, dude. Okay, most of this is like basically being left or natural, except this bit, the Japanese Zen garden, complete with a few like statues, bonsais, and a nice little lily pond and waterfall. It's a really nice relaxation glade to sit and meditate, and you're quite welcome to do so anytime. Okay, well now that's what we wanted to see at night here, so now we've got to wait till daylight again to show you the last little bit that we wanted to show you. Okay, here we go. Bring on the dawn. Well, while it was night time I was wondering where the sun had gone. Then it dawned on me. That's all I got. Okay, off we go. Out the back here, we discovered after we finished building, I didn't know it was there, we just discovered it after we built it, it was like, well, golly, surprise, 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 it's a beautiful little bay, so, we've got this beach here, you can come and sunbathe on the towels or the lounges here, or get changed in the changing hut into your bathers and go for a nice little dip, and we fancy a bit of beach fishing, do some fishing, there's a really nice spot just over here and catch some really big fish here and look off in the distance just to give you some bearing of where we are you can see the lookout tower from my mushroom farm which is in a, uh, one of my other videos the, one of the side projects ones okay well that's about it that's what I wanted to show you I hope you enjoyed it it took quite a long time to build mainly because we had most of the stuff but the green wool that took quite a while to organise that so we could do the lawns okay I'll just give you a quick look of the uh, building from the back because you haven't seen that yet okay hope you enjoyed my video see you later